So Draymond might leave. Draymond might leave. They're basically suggesting that if Draymond and the Warriors don't win again, Draymond is leaving positively. Let's hear your thoughts. We're on the way to 10,000. And let's get right into it. So the report right here that I read, shout out the source. And that source is my man Jack Simon or Simone at heavy.com. Western Conference executive said this about Draymond Green. I want to hear your thoughts. Do you believe this? So what are the chances that Draymond Green leaves the Warriors? A Western Conference executive said pretty strong. If they win a championship again this year, they will have pressure to keep things together. But the stuff with the punch on Jordan Poole in the preseason, that probably put the nail in it. There was a good chance he would just he, he would go just because his production is not what it was, and he's getting older, 32. It would be harder to justify paying him something around 20 million plus a year. Said this exec. Now, two teams mentioned by executives who spoke with Sean Devenny were the Los Angeles Lakers and the Detroit Pistons. Quote, now, there's the question of, okay, who does pay Draymond if he leaves? Will it be a team like the Lakers? He has so many ties to clutch sports and LeBron James, business partners. Or would the Detroit Pistons bring him home? There's a small number of teams that would want him. And if it be not good offer doesn't approach, he may just go back to the Warriors on a cheaper short-term deal. That's all a possibility. Now, that does, you know, raise questions on how that would all go down. But who would replace Draymond? I just don't think they're ready, like, Kaminga or Patrick Baldwin, we assume, are the two guys that they, or Andrew Wiggins, unless they wanted Wiggins to start playing up. I think it's just hard to really convince, you know, a team to, I guess you would say, like, give the opportunity for James Harden to, not James Harden, my apology. The opportunity, I don't know why I said James Hart, the opportunity to dream on green. Because I, I at this point, I see the Lakers, and I don't even see the Lakers giving him a max. I see the Lakers going maybe the full mid-level exception and being like, here's the full mid-level exception. All right. And with that, we're going to offer you, you know, like to be next to LeBron in AD. We'll give you a full mid-level exception for two years. Takes you to 34. I feel like that's the other thing. If you went to a team like the Lakers, he would just give them a good deal just to be petty to say F you to the Warriors. That's what that's the type of guy Draymond comes off of as, as to me. So, I mean, obviously I could be wrong there. I don't know Draymond personally, but and like he seems like actually a cool guy. I mean, obviously LeBron and him are friends because they get along well. So that's that's the other interesting thing. And I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. With Draymond potentially being on the move, do you think they even should consider signing and trading him if possible? Would that be something they should consider? I think that's definitely interesting how it's played out. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. I do love me some Draymond Green. And the guy still is one of a very few players who can do what he does. Dropping like six, six, and six, six rebounds, six assists, six points, and then, you know, having a block and steal to go with it. There's not a lot of guys who are doing that in the NBA for a reason. So that's definitely where I want to hear your guys' thoughts. And is there anything else you might have wanted to hear from me? If there was, let me know down below in the comment section. But I'm I'm done. I'm done. I'm heading out. I got to go, got to leave you all behind and face the truth. Mama, just kill the man. Pull my trigger, now he's dead. Uh, well, really, we are done. Bye.